Is it tax time and you're scrounging around trying to organize your paperwork? Or have you never organized your paperwork? You're in the right place. Most people cannot keep up with their paperwork, and because of the constant influx, whether it be mail, receipts, brochures, pamphlets, documents from school, whatever it is, it's all constantly flowing in. And if you don't have a system and routine set up, it just piles up. There are professional organizers who just organize paperwork because it can be so difficult to tackle getting it all organized once your paperwork has gotten seriously out of hand. Well, here is how to get it all organized. There are very few papers you actually need to keep. Most documents can be accessed online now, so whenever you have the option to go paperless, go paperless. If you decide to go completely digital and scan all of your paperwork, this physical system and paperwork maintenance routine I am showing you will be the same, but I'll show you at the end how to set up a digital system on your computer. So this system helps you to purge excess paperwork regularly. It is similar to the Freedom Filer system, which can be found at freedomfiler.com. But I'm a bit picky when it comes to color coding, as in I don't color code, and I'm picky in regards to labeling. So I have customized my own system. I prefer hanging files. You don't need to use additional file folders within them. And I like these very inexpensive clear tabs. I use my label maker to stick a label on the outside of the tab, as well as on my warranties and manuals binders. As I show you my system, I will go through my paperwork maintenance routine with you, which helps to maintain your paperwork on a daily, weekly, monthly, and annual basis. I'm actually giving my paperwork maintenance routine chart away as a freebie, so stay tuned so you can see how to obtain it for yourself. Let me take you through the flow of this chart. First things first, to reduce the influx of paperwork coming into your home or business, recycle the junk. If you know you won't look at it, just don't bring it in. So in order to keep up with your paperwork, you need a few different holding areas. On a desktop or tabletop or a wall-mounted organizer, you will have at least three labeled sections, an inbox, a follow-up section, and a to-file section. I have mine broken down further by preference, and I will show you how I do that later. The second holding area will be a file cart or totes like I have, or a cabinet with labeled hanging files. You will have a current year section, and a previous year section, or you could label it odd year or even year, and I'll explain that further. In the current year section, you'll have your current insurance policies, your current resume, your current tax year documents collected over the year that you will use to bring to your accountant at the end of the year or the beginning of the next year, and your current year petty files, which will be 12 files labeled by month for receipts and invoices. And then in your previous year section, you'll have previous year important files labeled by type and then previous year petty files labeled by month again. A third holding area can be a fireproof safe if your file cart or tote or cabinet is not fireproof. And in your third holding area, you can have your permanent files, which are your automobile records, including titles and maintenance records. So if you sell your vehicle in the future, you can have all the documents together for the person. You will have your deeds, trusts, and wills, education records, including degrees and transcripts. You'll have your home receipts, including renovation receipts and large appliance receipts. And then your medical records, including any diagnoses, immunization records, and important lab results which can be very helpful for your children and their children to look out for anything that may be genetic. In your fourth holding area, you will have archive files or boxes. You will use boxes if you have large stacks of tax documents and other important files that do not fit in the other holding areas. The file folders or boxes will be labeled by year up to 10 years, or you could label them 1 through 10, like I have here. The typical home can get away with combining the second through fourth holding areas into one container, like I have here where I have them in these two totes. Now to maintain your paperwork, on a daily basis you'll gather all your accumulated paperwork throughout the day and drop it all in your inbox in your paper sorter. You'll empty your purse, your briefcase, your wallet, and you'll gather your mail of course. The first thing is to recycle the junk that you will not read. Then open every envelope and recycle the envelopes. It's my pet peeve that people keep their torn envelopes. You will have no use for them. <laughs> And then, when you empty the envelopes, uh, connect the contents. You'll either staple or clip the contents together. Go ahead and take care of any urgent matters, whether they be online or if you make a call, 
or go ahead and schedule a call for the next day if it's after hours. Then make any needed notes on any paperwork that you need to follow up on later by filling out a sticky note and putting it on the paperwork and placing that paperwork in your follow-up bin. For any paperwork that does not require further follow-up, go ahead and place it into your to-file bin. Then shred any unnecessary paperwork that contains identifying information and don't forget to recycle the shreds. So this daily routine will be quick. It'll just take a few minutes every day, especially when you get used to it. Then weekly, you'll go ahead and pay any bills, whether they be online or sent in the mail. Then follow up on any paperwork or schedule when to follow up. You'll either read through the paperwork, make your calls, schedule appointments, fill out any paperwork, or get any paperwork ready to bring to any meetings. Then you'll file the remaining paperwork, which would be any completed items, paid invoices, receipts, and don't forget if you haven't already to staple the documents together before filing them. Then monthly, go ahead and um, recycle any paper that you don't need, like expired coupons. Then annually, you will purge, review, and update any insurance policies and contracts. Then you will move your current year petty files and current year important files to your previous year area. You can shred all previous year petty files and store previous year important files with your tax archives. As you can see, I've saved some social security statements here with my tax archives. You will place the emptied previous year file folders in the current year area or tote like I have here. For your archives, you'll shred the 10th year's files and then if you have them labeled 1 through 10, you will move up each file. If you have them labeled by year, you'll remove the 10th year's label and put on a new label for the new year. If you use banker's boxes due to large amounts of paperwork for your business or church, archive the previous year's files at the start of a new year and place them into the newly emptied and labeled archive box. So for your digital system, all of these file labels here, they will be exactly the same. You'll create folders and subfolders, for example, your current year petty files, you'll have 12 files by month and then you'll have a section for your current year important files and so on. My book, How to Organize Your Paperwork to Ultimate Guide is available for purchase for $3.99 on my website at terryelizabeth.com. In it, I break down what paperwork you need to keep, the different holding areas depending on the amount of paperwork you have for your home and business, and on top of that, I include free file labels. Please note that my paperwork book is actually included in my main book, How to Organize Any Space in 7 Simplified Steps. So why not just get all your spaces organized while you're at it? Click below for my free chart on my paperwork maintenance routine so you can finally stay on top of the flow of paperwork coming into your home or business. While you're there, you can find my current discount codes and comment below so you can let me know what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know the moment I upload an organizing video. Happy organizing!